How is this possible? You can now talk to GPT-4 and Claude all in one chat, upload your documents, and even give access to for example, Google Drive. When I discovered this AI solution, I could not believe that it's for free. In this video, I will show you Dust AI, a secure AI assistant with your company's knowledge. The company was co-founded by Gabriel Hubbard and Stanislas Polu. And by the way, Stanislas Polu joined OpenAI and worked there for three years prior to finding this company. Dust recently raised 5.5 million at the seed round from Sequoia and a bunch of other investment funds. Dust is betting that large language models will greatly change how companies work. Let's take a look at that. I just recently discovered that, so we are going to go through the features together. When you start a new chat, you have GPT-4, GPT-3.5, Claude, and Claude Instant. Claude has the largest context window so far that we know, and GPT-4 is one of the best models on the market. You can chat with all four of them, all in one chat interface. But that's not all. You need to see this as AI assistance, but you can also create your own. You will see that there are more assistants available. And of course, I'm going to create Professor Seneb's assistant in here. Let's ask some questions. And just as I was thinking, what should I ask? This assistant actually gives us a list of what we can do. We can retrieve information. It can be a writing assistant, content creation, data analysis scheduling and reminders i can help you manage your schedule and set reminders for important oh how okay task management okay this actually would be incredible if we also connect to some project management tools like i don't know monday asana and can also inherit data from the tasks and projects going on i hope that we're actually working on that so I have to ask, how can you help me schedule and make reminders? Okay, I'm a little bit confused. So can it create events on my calendar? I think that it's definitely something they are working on. I am sure about it, but clearly it's not there yet. Let's look at the admin tools. We have developer tools, which we're going to look into in a bit. We have also workspaces and members. You can invite people to the same workspace and collaborate on the work that you do while working together with AI on your documents. And I don't see any limit of how many people you can add here. You can add new data sources, which we're going to do as well, and connect to Notion, Google Drive, Slack, and GitHub. And for Notion, I recently tested 432 AI writing tools, which you can download for free. The file is Notion page. So I'm curious to ask questions exactly about that. You can authorize granular access, which means you don't give access to the whole thing. You can decide to which file or folder you are giving access to. Okay, so we will connect Notion. Oh my God, I just found the catch. So apparently to connect to Notion, you have to contact their team for their paid plans. That's it. There is no more information how much is paid plans, but definitely makes sense that they are charging for this. It's a little bit sneaky because I would love that they would disclose that there are paid plans. But nevertheless, I'm going to definitely contact them and hopefully get those features. I have another idea how I want to test this out. For the past six years, I've been reading this incredible AI report called State of AI Report. For a long time, I wanted to be able to upload all your reports from all the years and be able to chat with that content. This is going to be a database of State of AI reports. We're going to upload this. Okay, so it extracted all the text. Let's go ahead and ask some questions about it. And the typical question I would like to ask is, what are the predict next year? This is completely accurate. I'm going to go ahead and upload all the other reports. Okay, as you can see, I have all the state of AI reports uploaded here. Let's ask some questions. What were 2022 predictions? And what is the evidence today for that? Oh, interesting. This is really cool. It looked at the 2022 predictions, but then it considered the whole context of 2023 report to back those predictions. Can we switch to Claude now? And here we go, Claude is working right now. 
And of course, I'm going to create Professor Synapse Assistant in here. Um, but first, let's take a look at the developer tools. You can design, deploy custom large language model apps with access to your data sources and other service providers. And Hugging Face has a lot of different models. So this is going to be extremely exciting that you can access Hugging Face. Therefore, you can access all the other models. And here you go. Remember when it wanted to book me events on a calendar or answer emails? Service providers enable your apps to query external data or write external services. What it basically means that you can search Google, but you can also access, for example, Gmail. And they also provide your API key. This is so exciting. And these apps that you are creating can be public to anyone we are going to do Professor Synapse. This is incredible. I don't want to make this video too long because I feel like developing these apps should have their own dedicated video. Make sure to subscribe and I'm going to make a video about it. But in the meantime, let's create Professor Synapse Assistant. We can have a name and a face, of course. The name is going to be Professor Synapse. This is your assistant's heart and soul. Describe as you were addressing them their purpose, be specific on their role, I'm going to paste here the latest version of Professor Synapse and you should definitely check out the GitHub page, uh, previous videos and also subscribe to Joe Rosebaum YouTube channel because I lured him into YouTube now. We also have advanced settings. You can choose the model you want this to work the best and also creativity level, which I bet behind the scenes is just like temperature. I'm leaving this with balance. On top of that, we can also predefine the actions that the model would be making. For example, before answering any question, we want Professor Synapse first to look into data sources. For example, you have more analytical tasks, maybe it's processing data sources or run our dust apps. I feel like the more I'm experimenting with this, I see way more features. Here you go. I think we need to change his picture. I am really sorry, Joe, but Professor Synapse has only one face and that's Joe Rosenbaum. Please don't kill me. So we do Professor Synapse. Hello, Professor Synapse at your service. I have not connected Professor Synapse to this data source, but the, the prompt is working pretty much how it would be on ChatGPT. And Professor Synapse called an agent dedicated for this task, which is data mining analysis. Pretty impressive. But I need to connect data sources. Okay, I figured. So it's so crazy to kind of need to change your thinking because I thought that I have to connect data sources to Professor Synapse, but I don't because data sources are connected with this assistant. So I have to call this assistant and then also call Professor Synapse that both of them work together. So let's let's go to the previous chat. Let's call this one and say, can you help? Look at this now The Dust is also using emojis and is retrieving the data. And it, it gets me all the mentions of Microsoft throughout the different reports. So officially, I know that connections have a paid service now even though I should probably found out that there is paid service specifically on connections before making this video. I was just too excited about this, even excluding this connections. And we didn't even explore building your own apps yet. All the other free features are paid versions in so many other tools where you pay per each file upload, for each file size. You have to wait, you have to train here everything happens instantly and i really don't think i can go back to chatting just with one ai model anymore make sure to subscribe because i'm definitely going to build ai app with all of this by the way this state of ai report is probably the best on the market and it's completely free and you can watch this video here where i cover it in greater detail and trying to explain interesting moments in kind of human language